Pine Barrens is almost like a religion. You know, I mean, if you realize everything that has gone on here, and I mean, it's it's the last place on the East Coast that is still truly wild, between Richmond and Boston. This is it, and you know, it's just the whole thing is a paradox. It's the most densely populated state in the country, New Jersey. Right? There's 39,000 people per square mile in some parts of this state, and in the Pine Barrens, there's zero people per square mile. And I love that. I mean, it's 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 beautiful to be out here, and I mean, there's nothing out here except nature. I mean, there's 30 different plants that grow here and nowhere else in the world. So it's it's a really special place, man. It's got its own mojo. It really does. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody knows about the Jersey Devil, right? I personally, I don't know what. Here's what I tell people when they ask me. Every, people are seeing something. You know, a lot of people have heard and seen and it's described all kinds of different ways. Most people have heard it or heard what they think is the Jersey Devil. And who knows what it is, man. I mean, it's, if anything was going to cross over from one age to another, like from the, you know, dinosaur age to the present age, if it had to hide, there's no better place than, than the Pine Barrens. I mean, you know, who knows? All the glass that I make my jewelry with was sugar sand at one time. And, you know, it was all made in the 1800s. The day I make it, it's antique. You're wearing a piece of South Jersey. Each piece takes 700 hours to do in the tumbler. It's a painstaking process to take what looks like a chunk of junk that you find in the dirt to a piece of jewelry. Now you can see how that's just a glob of glass and how it melted and solidified, like lava, but it's glass. It's amazing that when you look at a piece of old glass like that, you see bubbles, and that's somebody's breath in there. <laughs> and it's just really, really neat to have something in your hand that you can really date. I mean, it's it was 1892 or older, which really makes digging for glass, you know, it's rewarding. In the backwater marshes where the cranberries grow, the water takes on the color of wine as it flows. And every evening the sun's fire drowns in the bay, and all the creatures that live here. Have their own special way, and that's where it's true. These pine barren blues, the folks that live in the barren, they have a story they tell about the old Leeds woman and her child from hell. Night he's born, he took wings on and flew out into the night. They say you still hear him screaming when the conditions are right. And that's where it's true, these pine barren blues. The weirdest thing I ever found is when I used to have my metal detector, I think I found a car buried in the sand at the end of Pompas Avenue in Cinnaminson. And because of the tide, I know, I know it was a trunk. And I was just getting to what it looked like the windshield. 
and the hole got buried by the tide and I was not going to do that again. <laughs> Took me all day to dig. But I have found ship's bells and I actually called, the, the name of the foundry was on the bell and I called it, it was in North Carolina. And the guy told me, he goes, that bell was probably used to warn my relatives that your relatives were on the way. <laughs> yeah, I swear it's true. Oh, oh. These pine barren blues.